Hi there, Casey and Jen here with another Fusion video. Today we're gonna be talking about different ways that you can cue wall squats. Now, we like to have tons of wall space in our studio because we find that it's so helpful um, in exercises that need balance and a hand on the wall, but also, if you think about it, the wall can almost be like a reformer back for us. So when you're laying on the reformer, you're nice and supported, your head and your spine. Well, we can start taking that laying down work on the reformer and bringing it onto the wall. So let's do that, Jen. So, and it might take a little bit to find our placement here for wall squats. So it's really important that you, you know, maybe go up and down a few times in a squat so that your clients can see where their feet need to be placed. Mm-hmm. Good, that looks like a pretty good placement, Jen. Mm -hmm. So standing up here for a moment, let's have you go all the way up to standing good. And I want you to think about that wall like the carriage of the reformer, okay? So let's find that sacrum tailbone nice and heavy, the mid-back connection. Let your collarbones just drape on your rib cage. Yes, very nice. Now the head may or may not be able to stay on the back of the wall, so it's whatever's comfortable. You don't want people to jam their head back. Let's take an inhale here and go ahead, exhale down into your squat and just stay here for a moment, cycling the breath, let the sitting bones go wide, feel all points of the foot, especially the first foot ray, pressing into the floor. And on your next exhale, I want you to reach your feet down like you're pressing on the foot bar to go up and lengthen the carriage. Good. Inhale. And then down, sitting bones wide. You want to cue just like you would on the reformer. Good. See that nice hip crease, tailbone heavy, very nice. And then on your next exhale, lengthen away. Your body is the springs. Good. Now a little bit of a variation that you can do here, just like on the reformer, are some pointing and flexing of the feet. So Jen, let's have you go into that beautiful squat position that you found. Good, find the crease, good. Now, can you go up into a point? Beautiful, and then the heels are gonna touch, and now you're gonna flex the feet. And what we're looking for as Jen does this point and flex is can she keep her body even on the wall? Feel your whole body spreading side to side as you move the feet and ankles. This is not easy. And one more time, going up into the point, deepening the crease, and then the heels drop and flex, tailbone reaches back, and then plant the foot, find your first ray, inhale, and then exhale, coming up to standing. Thank you so much, Jen. That's just a little taste of how the wall can be your reformer. Take care, we'll see you soon.